have our cauliflower in a bowl and um, the instructions say to go ahead and microwave it or most of the time cauliflower will now come in a steamable bag. I got mine at Walmart and it's the great value and it says that it's steamable and this um, particular container of cauliflower was only a dollar so it is a really good value and it's 12 ounces. The recipe calls for 20 ounces altogether but I got two bags, so a, a couple of extra ounces of cauliflower is no big deal. So I did do this in the microwave and it's ready to go. It's already steamed. And then I have our two cups of shredded chicken and the most time-saving and economical way to do this is to just get a, a already prepared rotisserie chicken from the deli or from Sam's Club or Costco, one of your big box stores. I didn't do that. I did cook about four chicken breasts and you can of course use thighs but breasts is what I had and then I just after I cooked it I just shredded it up so it's in nice kind of enchilada style pieces so we're going to combine the two of these and just kind of um, combine them a little bit with our hands we are going to take um, the sauce next So that's all ready to go. And then in a separate bowl, we have eight ounces of cream cheese. The original recipe actually calls for four ounces, but I like my um, enchiladas to be just a little bit saucier. So I go ahead and, and use a full brick of cream cheese. Any, any brand is fine, whatever you like using. And to that, I'm going to add about a half a cup of sour cream. And I did soften my cream cheese in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Um, if you know that you're going to be making this recipe ahead of time, you can of course get your cream cheese out and let it come to room temperature. But if you're in a hurry, because this is a speedy week, weeknight meal, then you can just go ahead and microwave it for 30 second intervals until it's soft. So we're just going to combine those two. Until it's smooth. And now it's time to add our green salsa. And I chose La Victoria Salsa Verde. And I did get the medium heat temperature because we like it a little bit spicy, but they do make a mild, which doesn't really have any spice at all. And it doesn't have to be this brand. It can be any type of Salsa Verde or green salsa. And I'm going to put basically half of the jar into our sauce. And then we can go ahead and start adding our chicken and cauliflower mixture to our sauce and try and get everything combined. Okay, so I've incorporated the sauce into our chicken and cauliflower. Now I did add a can of hatch chopped green chilies and that's purely optional i just really like green chilies and hatch if you've ever been to the southwest or if you're from there you know that they're just phenomenal chilies so i did make mine just a little bit more green chili so that's purely optional then after that we're going to add cilantro chopped to taste and so that completely depends on whether your family likes cilantro or not some people have a certain enzyme on their taste buds on their tongue that makes cilantro taste like soap so you probably know by now whether you like cilantro or not so of course this is optional but we happen to like cilantro so i'm going to add some cilantro and it also gives it some nice color and just stir that all together Just try and make sure everything is incorporated. Runaway cilantro. 
Okay, now I have preheated my oven to 375 degrees, and this is going to cook for about 20 minutes or until it starts to kind of brown on the top. But I'm going to get my pan and show you the next steps. You can use any kind of oven-proof casserole dish that you have. I have a nine by 13 here because um, if it's a little bit more shallow when it's cooking, it tends to cook a little bit faster. And of course, because this is a weeknight meal, we want to have speed be our main component. So I'm going to start out by putting a little bit of the casserole in the bottom. And I did grease my pan. Um, I haven't had any trouble with sticking, but I just like to grease it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put about half of our mixture in there. And I'm just going to spread it around. Just in a thin layer. And then I am going to add some Monterey Jack cheese and you can use any kind of cheese that you like. The original recipe called for sharp, but um, I kind of like it to be white, a white cheese because then it keeps everything in that um, salsa verde type theme where everything is just kind of white and green. So I'm going to add about half of this package and then we're gonna put another layer down. So then we are going to use the rest of this. I'm gonna get my spatula here to get everything out. We wanna get all that good stuff out of the bowl. So just put that over the layer that we already did. Smooth it out. You can see those yummy chilies in there. And then we are going to sprinkle the top with the rest of the cheese that we reserved from the bag. Just try and get it on there as evenly as you can. And then we are going to bake this in a 375 degree oven. And I have mine preheated and the preheating process just makes it so that it will cook a little faster so we can get this on the table. So we'll see you in a second. Welcome back. We're here with the finished product. I'm going to serve a little bit so you can see how creamy and cheesy it is. <clears throat> very creamy and delicious, very easy. I was also going to mention that if you have family members who are not following this lifestyle with you, the ketogenic low carb lifestyle, that this would still be a very excellent family weeknight dinner. You could add tortilla chips or just regular tortillas. It's also an awesome way to get cauliflower into your children. So please come back for future recipes with us and please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you very much and come back and see us again. Bye.